Let's say you're programming a stoplight and you heard that imaginary numbers are used in signal processing. The light you are working on is at an intersection of a busy main street and a less busy side street, and you read that the signal cycle tends to be around two minutes. So let's start with main street. We'll have a variable and call it z, since z is often used with complex numbers that might not be real. And let's start with the real and imaginary axes, with the variable's first value being z equals 1, which is on the real axis. We program the software to multiply z by i every 30 seconds. So when the program multiplies z equals 1 by i, the result is i, which is on the imaginary axis. And when it multiplies by i again 30 seconds later, the new z is i squared, which is negative 1, and back on the real axis. Then it multiplies by i again 30 seconds later, and the result is negative i, which is back on the imaginary axis. And what about when it multiplies by i again 30 seconds later? The answer is negative i squared, which is the opposite of negative 1, and that is back to 1 where we started 2 minutes ago. Now based on traffic codes in the area, let's say we want the light on Main Street to be green for 1 minute, yellow for 30 seconds, and red for 30 seconds each cycle. We can make a function and call it f of z. Start the light as green, 30 seconds later keep it green, that is f of 1 is green and f of i is green. Then when z is negative 1, we switch to yellow, and when z is negative i, we switch to red. Once z is back to 1, the light becomes green again because f of 1 is green. That pattern continues forever until the program is rewritten, loses power, or is removed. Now, let's program the side street light. We can start with the real and imaginary axes again. But this time we are going to make a new function called g of z. 1 times i is i, i times i is negative 1, negative 1 times i is negative i, and negative i times i is positive 1. But when the light is green on Main Street, we want the light to be red on its intersecting side street. And we program this light to be red when z is 1 or i. That is, g of 1 is red and g of i is red. But when Main Street is yellow, we still want the side street to be red. So say g of negative 1 is red. But what about when the light is red on Main Street? We could make the light be green on the side street, but we also need it to be yellow before it returns to red. This is a short green light, as you might expect from a side street. So we can program the side street light to be green for 20 seconds and then yellow for the next 10 seconds. And we just planned the programming for an intersection. This has been a video by Counting Apples and Oranges and is part of the College Algebra series, not necessarily civil engineering, and it is an idea I made up. Remember to like and subscribe, and we'll see your ideas in the comments below.